Hello everyone, it's Steve with Aptera Owners Club. Early morning, uh, April 2nd, 2024, Sarah Hardwick um, posted this on LinkedIn, and this was after crowdfunding over $100 million for Aptera Motors. I'm excited to be launching my own consultancy to raise funds for innovative companies who have a vision to change the world. During the last five years, I've learned how to inspire and empower a movement and turn a passionate community into investors and advocates. I'm blessed and thankful for all the Aptera team members, friends, and supporters who I've touched along the way. Hope you will all come along for the ride as I embark on this new journey. Okay, so this is something that um, really wasn't news to people that have been following Aptera closely. Um, I, I knew that this was the case several months ago, uh, but I didn't really want to uh, break the news until um, Sarah released the news to everyone kind of publicly. And so this is this is this is her statement as of uh, April 2nd. And if you the reason that we knew that this was happening is if you had been following um, Sarah Hardwick's LinkedIn page, it said this. Um, this showed up back in like December. So June 2020 to November 2023. So as of November 2023, um, Sarah Hardwick was no longer full-time chief marketing officer for Aptera Motors. And you see here that this is the project that she is talking about. Um, this is the equity crowdfunding expert, the crowd consult, the crowd consulting um, full-time. And so this is what she's been doing full-time since November, 2023. Now, I know that Sarah is still at least in some capacity working with Aptera because I have sent emails and received emails back from Sarah since this time. I think it was like, I think February of this year, February or March of this year. Yeah, I think about February of this year, um, Sarah was still uh, working. So I think she's still working, you know, on a part-time basis for Aptera um, as a consultant, advisor, that kind of thing. And so they're they're still obviously on very good terms. This is Aptera Motors' official statement about uh, this, and it, on our Discord channel. So I'm I'm imagining that this is going to be posted to their website at some point. But um, it says we bid farewell to Sarah, our esteemed chief marketing officer, as she embarks on new endeavors after her impactful years at Aptera. Sarah's dedication and vision for our solar power future have been instrumental in fostering and growing our vibrant community. We are immensely grateful for her contributions to Aptera's movement and wish her the very best as she channels her expertise towards jumpstarting other companies through fundraising. Sarah leaves Aptera's marketing efforts in the hands of Quincy, Audra, and Chris M, leading our marketing and communication teams as we continue to grow. Their expertise, along with the foundation laid by Sarah, will drive our mission forward. We thank Sarah for her leadership and commitment to Aptera. Her legacy will inspire us to work towards revolutionizing sustainable transportation. Best wishes, Sarah, from all of us at Aptera. Okay, now Sarah Hardwick was actually with the original iteration of Aptera back in 2000, you know, like 20 years ago, almost 20 years ago. Um, so this is this is a post from Aptera when it really first restarted back in 2020. Sarah Hardware joining as chief marketing officer ran the communication firm that launched Aptera into the spotlight a decade ago and made headlines across the country. Tapping into what Aptera customers were passionate about, she helped build and nurture loyal community of fans who have since followed Aptera to become investors and founding parts of the company's success. So if you look at um, Sarah Hardwick's um, a LinkedIn page back in tw 2002, um, she was the founder of Zenzi Communications. Zenzi Communications is still in um, in business. They've been acquired by this this group called Al Alenthia Marketing and Media Team. And if you look under Team, you see Sarah Hardwick is still posted there as a values advisor. So she's staying on as an advisory role. She stayed on as an advisory role to that company that she helped found. And this is presumably the company that was um, helping the first iteration of the Aptera and Aptera. And I, I think that she's kind of staying on sort of in an advisory role um, at Aptera as well. Now, uh, there's a lot of speculation like, oh, this is really bad news. Um, people are leaving this, that, and the other. I think this is just Aptera being more capital 
um, efficient. The, you know, they're they're done with their crowdfunding campaign, and they have a a young group of people, Chris McCammon, Audra, and Quincy. They were all very new um, at this when they joined Aptera, but now uh, Quincy and Audra and Chris have like you know three years of experience under their belt, and I think they felt like um, they can probably kind of take it from here. And and Sarah, after having run, you know, arguably the most successful crowdfunding campaign um, ever, um, is now well positioned to kind of help other startups that want to do crowdfunding and show them, you know, how how she was able to do it for Aptera. And so I think this is a great opportunity for her. So I think Aptera f thought that hey, they have this young group of people that are now they know what they're doing and they can kind of run the show and and sarah on her part thought you know this is a great opportunity to kind of start another company and go off on another direction and it, it was kind of a mutual parting I, I suspect under good terms um the reason is is if you look at the compensation if this is their latest sec filing we will we're kind of awaiting their the sec filing for 2024 uh 2023 this is their 2022 SEC filing, so fiscal year ending December 31st, 2022. You can see that Sarah Hardwick was actually the third highest um, compensated um, uh, executive officer. So Chris Anthony and C. Fambro making about 260 a year. This is cash compensation. This probably does not include uh, like benefits and stock options and stuff. And um, Sarah Hardwick definitely got stock options, I'm sure. So she's has a vested interest in seeing Aptera succeed. I think, you know, she was with it on the first iteration. She's really, um, you know, in uh, completely all in with Aptera. And she has uh, probably stock options as well. But she was getting paid. So they are saving like over $230,000 a year by... Um, kind of eliminating that position temporarily uh, as you guys know Janie's Berlin's game as CFO left a while ago I think two years ago it was um, and she was actually the highest paid at 313 um, and she had uh, definitely had some stock options that were listed in the 2021 SEC filing but anyways I believe that that's what's going on this is uh, Sarah's new uh, website and if you go here it's sarahhardwick.com and um, she is, you know, basically starting this this uh, new endeavor to help companies do equity crowdfunding. And so if you look here, you see um, talking about Aptera and then successful regulation A plus crowdfunding. And she has like a little little um, book booklet that she wrote about regulation A plus crowdfunding. And anyways, Sarah has been very, very successful um, with this crowdfunding campaign. And she was, uh, I always enjoyed interacting with her. She was great um, and very open. And so I think she's gonna do very well. And I wish her well personally. And I think that this was a, a kind of a mutually good move on both her part and Aptera's part. Aptera saving a bunch of money. They have a good core of uh, young people that can kind of take the baton from here and Sarah can start this uh, new uh, new company where she helps other startups uh, find funding. So I think that's gonna um, be very good for her. All right, well, thanks for watching guys. Um, have a great day.